Welcome to the testing word. In this session, we are going to understand what is software testing. So software testing can be defined as the process to test the application under different conditions. So what do you mean by the under different conditions? I'm moving to my application here. That's my application, which is shop.thetestingworld.com. I need to test this search functionality. So software testing can be defined as the process to test the application under different conditions. So first condition could be that I'm searching with the correct data. Like I'm giving the iPhone over here, click on search button and we are getting result. That is one condition. Second condition could be I am just not giving any data and just click on search button. So what should be happen in that case? In that case, we are not getting any result. Third condition could be I am giving some wrong data like I am giving some special characters and just search. So third condition is we are searching with the special characters. So software testing can be defined as the process to test the application under different conditions. Different condition involve both the positive and negative conditions. So if I take an example of login page, different conditions could be like condition one, we are testing application with the correct username and password. Second condition could be we are testing the application with the incorrect username and correct password. Third condition could be username in caps. Fourth condition could be we are passing password in capital letter. We can have many more conditions over here. In software testing, we are going to test the application under different conditions. Then second point is over a period of time. Whenever we are going for the testing, it will be a cyclic process means I'm testing the application today. Maybe I'll have to test the application after 10 days, then after one month, then after three months, then after five months, we are testing the application in a cyclic manner until unless we deliver the application to the client. And the third point is evaluating the result. So I can take the example like that's my application. So here I'm going to ask a question like, do you think height and the width of this text box is correct? Answer could be how we can judge what is the correct value because as of now, we don't know what is the correct value. Now I change my question and ask you again, height of this text box should be five pixels. Do you think it's a correct? Now you know that height should be five pixels now you will get and you will verify if the height is five pixel then it is passed else it is failed so here the concept comes of expected result whenever we are going to test any application we are going to get some expected results expected results are the result which we are picking from the client requirement like how application should behave so that is expected result when we are testing the application, we are getting some results. Result which we are getting from the application that is called actual result. We are going to compare actual result with the expected result. If the expected result is same as the actual result, then it is passed, else it is failed. So here we have gone through a very simple and practical definition of the software testing. It's a process in which Software tester is going to test the application under different conditions. It could be n number of conditions over a period of time. So we are going to test the application in a cyclic way. And every time we are comparing actual result with the expected result. I'm going to show you a practical process like that's my application. And I'm going to test the application for input iPhone. So I'm searching for the iPhone as per expected result which I'm getting from the client requirement. When we are searching for iPhone, it should give three results. So my expected, so my expected outcome is we should get three results. I'm just running it. And here in actual, we are getting only one result. So mean my expected was three results, but we are getting only one result means actual outcome is not matching with the expected outcome. So in that case, it is failed. So here we have seen a very simple definition of the software testing. 
that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video